everyone, it's Kim. I'm gonna try a different little angle to see if that helps because I've noticed that my arm's always in the way when I'm trying to um, mix this up. I guess I could change the camera to, to the other side, but I'm gonna try it. Well, anyway, this batch is called um, Earth Goddess, and um, it's like a oh, kind of a um, earth, you know, like soil and berries and mint. It smells like kind of like the forest floor, I guess. Um, some of you guys that live by forest probably say, ooh, yuck. But um, it's real earthy. I like it. And um, anyway, I'm playing with lye concentrations. And so this is at a 33% lye concentration. And another thing that I'm doing with this batch is I am going to make a regular batch. I had made a tester once before of hemp, hemp milk. Well, I hadn't made a full batch, so when I tried my little tester bar, I was like, oh my god, the lather's amazing and everything, so I decided to go ahead and since this is Earth Goddess, I figured hemp and um, hemp would be good, but when I was looking online, just watching people make hemp milk to drink, I noticed that some people make hemp oat milk, and I thought, wow, that'll be great for the skin, and so when I took my cup and a half of hemp hearts, I soaked them in about three cups of water and I added three tablespoons of ground um, whole oatmeal. Well, it was actually ground, but it was actually, you know, cooked, you know, regular oatmeal. And um, so basically, I split my water in half. And so this is my lye water with silk in it. And then here's my hemp oatmeal. So anyway, let's give it a try. I know it's going to speed up, and I'm not going to try to do anything too crazy. I just had made a little small bit of um, a kind of a real earthy green color to maybe do a thin layer at the bottom. Um, I don't know, because I'm going to put botanicals and stuff on the top and use some embeds that I have just from soap balls and um, some soap sticks, possibly. So, and I don't have any clay in this because I figured with the oat um, milk and the um, hemp that that was going to be good enough. So for right now I'm going to go ahead and add my sodium lactate. That's at 3%. You're still not dead. You're and let me just get that in there. And then now I'm going to pour in, I think I'm going to strain my um, lye just to make sure. Take this out. And strain that in there. Yeah, because basically with this um, lye concentration, I diluted the the, the lye and basically the equal amounts of water because I'm going to be adding the other part, the other third basically of, um, well actually, of liquid as the milk. Okay. Let me just stir that. some of the batter possibly with my green. Just want a really tiny thin layer. So anyway, here we go. We just pulse this a little. And I'm working at a cool temperature. And I'm going to go ahead and add my hemp oat milk. And I didn't mind the green bits from the hemp because to me that just adds to it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add my um, shea butter as well. You can 
see that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance oil. This scent is um, from Backwoods, but I also added to the out of the three ounces. Part of it is um, Gaia from Moonworks, which is um, her earth goddess, basically, because that's what Gaia is. But uh, it has a little bit more of a dirt, dirt smell, you know, but in a good, fresh earth. See, here we go. We're moving quick. And so I'm going to add a little bit here just because I want a little bit on the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and add in my green, which is a real kind of a dark woodsy green because I'm going to put the botanicals like I said that's exactly what I wanted okay so I'm going to go ahead and put this in and then just tap it down and spread it around To spread this in there. And I'm going to go tap it down just for a second. Balance it out there, you see. And then I'm going to take some of these. I'm just using them like pebbles, I guess, and just putting them randomly here and there. Okay, so that's all the ones from that color. And then now, my solid soap here. Let me just stir it up. It's heating up. It's going to go on top. Hope you can see that. Always smelling something. And I'm going to tap this down real quick. Try to get as many air bubbles out as possible. Probably doing the same job here with sticking it in your face, the bucket. Let me tap that down. Hands all greasy. Oh, shit, it was right there the entire time. Here goes the 
And then you just get this last little bit out of here. I'm just trying to wrap up the top here because I'm going to take some of these and stick them down in there. Just for color interest. And because I felt like as though the design itself, this is actually um, blueberry um, pomegranate tea soap. I just cut up a few bars. And um, I felt like as though it would kind of lend itself to looking like the world, you know, which would kind of go with Earth Goddess. Try to get some more more blue in it. Yep, this stuff is definitely setting up. That's an understatement actually. I really enjoyed having my days off. I <clears throat> have been off for five days straight, which I haven't done in a long time, in over a year or so. And last year when I was off, I drove to the West Coast and back, so I was pretty exhausted by the time my vacation was over. I was almost ready to go back to work from driving so much. Trying to make sure I get it up in there so there's some with every cut. Okay, let me just clean this off. There you go. That 
rinse off my hands. And then I'm going to put some botanicals on top. This is just a um, bath tea. It's got all different types of, and I even added some cornflower petals to it because they're so beautiful. And um, it has lemongrass and calendula, rose petals, chamomile. So anyway, here it is. So this is Earth Goddess. Boy, I would never ever want to do this type of lye concentration and try to swirl or anything because that is tremendous. So anyway, I just wanted to give it a try because last night when I had made the um, sensual blue one, um, I really wasn't prepared for how it was going to accelerate. And it was even a lesser concentration than this one. I think it was only um, 31%. And um, it moved so fast too. But at least I was still able to get a little bit of a hammer swirl in there. But this one will just be, I had already planned, this is how I wanted this one to look. So anyway, I hope you guys have the rest of your Sunday. I hope you have a great day and a great week this week. And tomorrow I'll come back and I will cut this. Thanks for watching.